What's going on, guys? It's Brandon back here again for another BFR. Game 70 against the Anaheim Ducks in Anaheim. 9 o'clock game again on March 21st. Score ends up being 4 0 Anaheim. Great for the tank. Unfortunately, San Jose is not choosing to pick up any ground, which um, sucks. But uh, they're playing the Hawks tomorrow at 9.30, so if they can get a win at home there, they're only two points behind. And the Hawks just need to lose out, and I'd be fine with it. Hawks dropped 19, 46, and 5. Shots were 29, 25, Chicago. Hits were 28, 19, Chicago. Faceoffs 36, 24, Anaheim. Power play, Chicago goes 0 for 1. Anaheim goes 1 for 5. 11 forwards and 7D for Chicago. Blackwell is out hurt, and Entwistle was also out. Uh, Soderblom saves 21 out of 25. Dostal saves 29 out of 29 in his first shutout of the year. First period, Kalorn goes hard into the net. It looks like he had a knee injury. Uh, he left, but would come back in the first. Hawks had a better period. Soderblom didn't have a bad start. 9.37, it's a Chicago and Anaheim penalty to Tenorti and Johnston for fighting each. 4.28, it's an Anaheim penalty to Strom for cross-checking, which would be kill. Second period, Terry is saved, 16.50, Anaheim gets one on the board. It's a deflection from Alex Kalorn, 13th of the season from Lindstrom and Vakaninen to make it 1-0. Uh, 22 seconds later at 16.28, it's a Chicago penalty to Slaggart for holding, which would be killed. And at 10.26, what a bad goal for Soderblom to give up. It's Brent Leeson, the Hawk killer, 11th of the season from Ben Myers, who picks up his first NHL assist. He was picked up at the deadline from Colorado from Anaheim? Uh, I, I, I don't remember where he was. Uh, and then Pavel Mintukov with the other assist. Uh, 9.51, Chicago penalty to Zaitsev for interference, which would be killed. Radish shorthanded is saved. It looked more like a Hawks power play, that one. 4.47, Chicago and Anaheim penalty is sl uh, to Slaggart and Mintukov. Slagger gets tripping, Mintukov gets embellishment. So, And then at 3.43, Chicago takes another penalty. It's Bedard for hooking. So it's a 4-on-3, which is killed off. McTavish is saved. Terry missed wide a wide open net. There's a collision with Carlson that would be answered in the third period, but it clearly wasn't intentional. I'm not sure what they saw in that that they had to fight over it later on, but it, it, it's yeah. 134. It's an Anaheim goal. It's Alex Kalorn again with his 14th of the season from Leeson and Zellweger to make it three nothing. Third period, uh, 1945. So 15 seconds into the period. Vlasic and Ryan Strom drop the gloves, so they, that's, that's another fight right there. Um, clearly a response that was, wasn't was needed. It reminded me of the Corey Perry-Nick uh, Felino fight. Ironically, both were on the Hawks this season, but from 2021 after John Tavares got hurt. Perry couldn't do anything to get out of the way, and Felino says, you know what, we're going to fight for whatever reason. 11.02, uh, uh, Chicago penalty to Bedard for high sticking. 10.23. Chicago penalty to Felino for slashing. So it's 5 on 3 for 122. Uh, 5 on 4 for the remainder because at 929 it's an Anaheim power play snipe goal from Frank Vetrano. It's 30th, 30th of the year. So congrats, Frank Vetrano, on a 30 goal season. Uh, Fowler and Terry to make it 4 nothing with the assists. Uh, Lacombe gets denied. And then that also that Felino penalty that was a slash. Even Darren Pang is like, what is that? The playoffs are right around the corner, and that is being called a penalty. That's going to happen a hundred times in every playoff game. And this is essentially what Peng was saying. It was a very soft call. I didn't even think it was worth a penalty. But you know what? It's fine. Uglier game, more scrambles, more scrums in front of Soderblom. And uh, these two teams don't like each other. This whole season, they've been at each other's throats. And it's going to be interesting to see as both of these teams get better when they do. Um, if there's going to be a rivalry developing between the two, because Bedard, obviously, the, the number one pick, Carlson, the number two pick. Um, these teams have had great tenacity against each other, some brawls in there, many fights. Uh, we'll see what happens going forward. But I'm going to thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I shall see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.